sweet. As Vera started to finish looking around the area for anything she could find, she found a set of keys. I wonder where this goes to, she thought. Excellent. The place really hadn't been ransacked all that much, and there was a lot of loot to be had. She wondered to herself if she could carry all this back to her place. Sweet. She had to be careful though, the rotting corpses of feral ghouls still haunted the place. Out and back, she found a trailer that was in pretty good condition, but it was locked. She thought, maybe this trailer key will open it. It was worth a shot. Then something caught her eye. It was an old droid from back before the war, still held up in its charging port. Wonder if I could reprogram this thing and bring it back home with me, she thought. Got it. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Hostile target detected. Damn it. I wish I would have found this thing earlier, she mumbled to herself. Sadly though, no matter what she did, she couldn't bring it back with her. Figures. As she headed back home with a sack full of loot, she ran into a nearby farm. Family run. They seemed friendly enough. Hey, new here? Well, if you've got anything worth trading, you can talk to me. What have you got? It ain't a lot, but I've got a few basic supplies. Ammo, meds, that sort of thing. Ammo and meds? What kind of basic supplies are those? Very basic. You want to survive out here? You need ammo and meds. Here for work? We could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. I'll give you caps for any you can bring me. You guys pay for things with bottle caps? What happened to dollars and cents? That old stuff? Not too useful these days. Unless you're looking to stock up your outhouse. Can't you do something to protect yourself? Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. Do you know where they're coming from? Yeah, pretty sure I do. One of them mentioned Olivia while they were here. My guess is they're holed up in that old USAF station. These damn raiders, she thought to herself. Time to go over there and give them a little visit. She traveled back to home base to prepare for her assault, unloading all the loot she had recently acquired. Vera liked traveling light, limiting herself to about four weapons, grenades, and some mines. So with every chance she got, she would modify the hell out of those weapons. First up would be her melee weapon, to handle things, if ever she ran out of bullets. Then came her pistol, something that could be drawn from the hip quickly, just in case she was taken by surprise. And she also needed something real heavy, just in case she ran into something a lot bigger than her. But by far, her most favorited weapon would be something of long range. Something that would allow her to snipe from far away without ever really entering the battle. Added with a bag full of grenades and mines, she was pretty confident that she could take on pretty much anything. Well, anything within reason. But before she would leave, however, she would expand a little bit more on the base with the extra supplies that she was able to loot from the Wicked Shipping Warehouse. With the tower of her home base almost completed, what better place to test out her sniping skills? She would be the first to admit that it wasn't much, but it was definitely the start of something great. While on her way to the raider's location, she came across a strange looking machine just on the lake's edge. Something that pumped water? Air? Not sure. While tinkering with it, she accidentally turned it off and was unable to get it back on. Hope nobody needed that, she thought to herself. 
Coming directly out of the machine was a very large pipe that traveled all the way up the hillside. What if I follow it, she thought. Maybe it would lead me to wherever this machine was connected to. It looked like an air vent for some sort of underground structure. Perhaps the vault that she emerged from. At this point, dead bodies, whether fresh or 200 years old, didn't faze her one bit. In fact, they were more of an opportunity to find more loot. Then suddenly from behind her, she heard a growl. Startled, she grabbed her pistol and scrambled up the vent. Ah oh, no, she thought. Not these things again. As she waited patiently for the rat to resurface, she noticed there, in the distance, raiders. Raiders on the left, overgrown rodents of unusual size on the right. She had to make a move. She thought, maybe if I get the rats out into the open, I can take care of them easier. Sadly, the rats had already figured that out. It's a really good thing I got this armor on, she thought. That would have hurt. Luckily for her, gunshots in the distance were a normal occurrence in the wasteland. The raiders simply dismissed it. It went back to their daily routine. As she counted how many raiders she was going to have to deal with, she realized that that was going to be a lot of ammo wasted, and possibly she might not even make it. She couldn't let pride or emotion get in the way. She had to do this logically, by the numbers. To conserve on ammo, not make too much noise, and limit her time getting shot at, it had to be a surprise attack. Something quick and swift. As night fell, convinced that they were safe, the raiders started to sack in for the night. All Vera had to do now was wait for the perfect moment. And just like that, it was done. As she sorted through the loot, she couldn't help but feel a little prideful for what she had accomplished. But she couldn't let it go to her head and get cocky. That's how mistakes are made. As she looked over her handiwork, a grin started to form on her face. But that was just it. Bullets, knives, bombs, death itself. What really scared her was the fact that she started to like this. Well, I guess it's too late to be stealthful now, she thought to herself. Might as well go on in and check it out. Lucky no one was here. It could have ended badly. But if it's one thing about the wasteland that you'll find out real quick, is that all too often, you'll find yourself speaking too soon. Someone there? As she heard the poor dog take his last breath, she couldn't help but feel pain in her heart. It was either them or her, she kept on telling herself. Ah, oh, this place looks familiar, she thought to herself. Last time she was here, she wasn't really convinced that turning on that thing would be a good idea. However, if there was any slight chance or possibility she could reprogram it and bring it back to home base, she had to give it a try. At this point, she was wondering to herself, what the fuck did she just do? Fighting the urge to grab a gun. Any 
She gathered up what courage she had and walked towards this war machine. I guess that answered her question. Sadly, this too was not coming back with her. She was almost there. The fear of what was about to take place started racing through her mind. What am I about to get into? She thought. No way, she said under her breath. Ever since she ran into that one guy with the power armor, picking parts from that car, she always wondered, what would it feel like to be walking around the wasteland in a tank on two legs? Just right next to the armor was a crashed vertebrate. Maybe there was something still useful inside, even after all these years. gunshots in the distance. She learned not to ignore these, but to figure out exactly where they're coming from. Raiders. It had to be them. That's what the man said that their base was. Hopefully she wasn't making a mistake. Things were starting to get out of hand really quick. The best thing that she could do was stay in one place and dig in deep. Let the enemies come to her. Her heart was racing, adrenaline pumped. She knew that sounded like some sort of detonation device, but where? Should she run or wait? Luda, you better be worth it! They're putting mines on rats now? She said to herself as she grabbed her arm in pain. The vertebrate had protected her from most of the blast but that still didn't stop the shrapnel from going into her arm. Ears ringing and a little dazed, she could slightly remember the screams of a raider. Perhaps the blast got him. If that's so, where's his body? These raiders looked a whole lot different than the ones she was used to in the wasteland. They were way better equipped and if that rat with the bomb strapped to its back symbolized anything, it would be that taking over this raider base would be hell on earth. Luckily for her though, she had exactly what she needed. Although, getting inside of it with the leather armor on was super tight, very uncomfortable, and very cramped. It wasn't designed to be stepped into with a suit of armor already on. She was going to have to bring it back to her home and modify it. But home was far away. And the base was right here. The raiders were still unaware of what just happened. That meant that the element of surprise was still on her side. It was then that she made a judgment call. This ends tonight. <laughs> 